Welcome to Nebula Aerospace. My name is Kyle, and this is the first prototype of our thrust vector control mount, which will hold a model rocket engine and move it around to control the direction of its thrust, therefore changing the angle of a rocket, allowing it to be steered. A static fire was conducted using an Estes E-12 rocket engine to test the durability of the mount, as well as the mount's ability to maintain control under thrust. The static fire stand uses four brackets, which are 3D printed, to simulate a connection to the rocket's airframe, and are connected to a piece of half-inch thick plywood. The top of the stand held the Arduino, as well as a power bank to power the Arduino. There was a brick counterweight on top to ensure the test stand would stay a test stand and not turn into a rocket, and there was also a metal plate used as a flame diverter. Physically speaking, the mount is fully 3D printed, apart from screws, servos, and linkages, and is designed to fit inside of a 74mm airframe, and is able to hold any sub-29mm engines, giving it the ability to hold an F-15 or smaller. The mount is able to actuate plus or minus 5 degrees on both the X and Y axis. It is able to actuate itself using two 9G servos, and is controlled at the moment by an Arduino Uno. However, for any active stabilization, it will be run off of a custom flight computer, and some more details on that will be coming very soon. The way the mount is able to rotate is due to the two-axis gimbal system consisting of an inner ring and an outer ring, as well as the central motor tube. The motor tube is connected to the inner ring on one free axis, and the inner ring is connected to the outer ring on a 90 degree offset single axis. This allows the motor tube to be rotated in the Y direction by one servo, and the motor tube to be rotated in the X direction by a servo connected to the inner ring, moving the motor tube in the process. I hope you've enjoyed this update, I've been Kyle, and I'll see you in the next one.